I think I may have actually figured this out. So this is the update on the uh, Bullshit Maker ZR. If you've seen my previous video, you know this is an absolute train wreck so far. In my 48 hours of owning it, it managed to print 58 minutes. One very interesting thing I noticed, if you look at this hot end, and you think to yourself, this looks really familiar, you are not wrong, because, check this out. This is P1S hot end. It's pretty much exactly the same as X1C hot end, just different connectors. But, look at this. They are almost identical. This is just a clone. But yeah, anyway, we covered this ridiculous design uh, that doesn't work. And then I kept having the jams and missing filaments and whatever. I might have found the problem. So this is the extruder. I took it off and it kept jamming all the time. And if you look right over here, there is a screw. Quite long one at that. I'm just doing this to demonstrate because I just pulled this piece of filament out of the inside. Okay, so... The screw that I just took off is basically an adjustable tensioner, but you can see it's fully out right now, and it does take quite a bit of tension already to move this, so this is basically, at least I'm thinking it was, squishing the filament really hard, because the way I took it out, it was all the way down, so this is how it came from the factory, like, this is pretty much not moving at all, so I am hoping if I take some of the tension out, it is not going to be squishing the filament. The thing is, you have to find the right balance, because if it's too loose, it's going to have problems, and if it's too tight, it's going to have problems. But to be completely honest, with this printer, I am not expecting it to work anyway, because it has hardware issues, it has software issues. Um, yeah, I'm smelling lawsuits with that one. That is really bad. If you pledge on Kickstarter, get your money out as soon as you can. I will give them some credit, though because the extruder and the nozzle and the PTFE holder are actually really easy to get into. That's the extruder you just took off. So it's just three screws, and that's it for the extruder. Then for the hot end, it's essentially the same as on the bamboos, because, well, you just saw it, it's the same thing. Just slide it up, and then we have two screws. And the last part is this coupler, and it just goes right over here, and it's held by this one screw. So basically you have six screws uh, to take everything off uh, if you ever need to clean it and with this printer you definitely will but let's see if i was right and if it will actually print this time let's try that again yep never mind won't even print the first layer now this is such bullshit.